In the iron furnace, it will bring something gooey. What? Hello, Minecrafters, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in this Minecraft video, we're gonna be taking a look at the best launcher for your Minecraft in this year. We got here Inner Core. Alright, yes, that's how it's pronounced. Inner Core. We can see that we got so much mods that is from Java Edition actually. You can see that we got Industrial Craft, more furnaces, Voila, Thermal Expansion, even Tinker's Construct. Although there's a little bug in the Tinker's Construct, I don't know how it works yet. I'm gonna make some tutorials about this. And you can see that we got Mod Browser. This is a very cool feature as you can install about anything. Let's see, let's grab the this one. Sleepy furniture mod. You can just tap on install and you can click yes. It will install the mod for you automatically. You don't have to do anything, just restart the inner core apps. And that's very simple. We can check for any updates on any mods. Very, very cool. But it doesn't really change your way of playing Minecraft. The only downside is that the version. Yeah, it's in the version 1.1.2.42 beta of Minecraft. That means no village and pillage, no foxes, no berries, no all of those cool workstations. But you got this. I mean, how cool was this? Uh, I disabled some mods so this random blocks spawned. But look at this, we got pipes and machines, solar panel and everything is very cool. You got here the wrench, like in the real industrial craft, you got the iron furnace. If you tap on the iron furnace, it will bring up the GUI. Well, it's the old version of Minecraft GUI, but it does work. This iron furnace cooks way faster. Also, I got this button for night vision. See, I got my night vision armor enabled. See. Also, I got some. If you disable mods, it will happen like this: missing item, missing blocks. If you disable mod, and if you re-enable it back, it will come back to normal. And this is very cool because night vision is very useful here. And we can see that we can open everything in our creative inventory like this you see and we got some ores here maybe we can start a let's play series on mods i mean why not i'm also gonna start a let's mod thing so like i'm i'm not trying to remake mods from java edition of course i'm going to make something new something original something that you guys can learn I'm gonna put example codes in the description, I will upload the files and all that stuff. In fact, I already got something planned in mind. Like first episode being setting up and second episode will be using the templates that I can give. You guys can use it very easily. This is the example of the thing that I will do. A cable like this. It can follow up the model. So it's not like block launcher. Your typical block launcher mods will not work on this. Hey, look at that. I have just created an A. Very cool. And the possibilities with this launcher is that there will be a lot more mods out there. I know that this thing is not updated to the latest version, but that's same as Java Edition. Most of the mods isn't updated for the latest version. But this launcher is the best because it allows you to customize a lot more. Block launcher as of 2019 is broken. It's not much updated, it's updated for the latest version, but it doesn't have the functionalities like custom GUI is not working, custom blocks is not working. But this one, this brings a whole new thing. It makes 3D blocks model possible, it makes custom food, custom weapons, custom tools, everything possible, even custom TNT. Let's try this out, shall we? I haven't tested this one. Two, one, go. Oh. Well, that's anticlimactic. Okay, moving on. 
What else can you do with this thing? Well, it's pretty much limitless. You can get custom armor, custom weapons. Let's see, I think I saw a jetpack before. I don't know, I cannot find it. Scuba helmet. Oh, I think this is gonna be cool. Let's try putting on. I am also curious is this version is the update aquatic version. Let's try by placing in a non full block like fence. Let's try fence. Nope. This one is clearly not an update aquatic version. Now I'm on survival mode. I cannot see my health bar. It's closed. Um, let's see. Oh, there's my uh, air bubble. Air bubble seems to be moving down. I don't know what this affects me. I don't know. What is going on? Oh, it's you. Go away. You see this? This particle is part of a mod. Which is very cool because you now can make custom particles with command blocks but with mods it will give much more capability and this weapon is sucks. Oh yeah this is a macerator. It converts one iron into two iron chunks. I, I believe it's what's called iron chunks. Um, let's check in my inventory. Crust iron ore. One cross iron ore will give you one iron ingot. So if you mine one iron ore, it will equal to two iron ingot with this machine. You will need some power from the sun, then use the sunlight. With solar panel, you can have this tile, that cable, uh, uh, what is it called? Tin cable. That's the one. Moving into this block, which will store power, and I'm getting shocked by it, and through this macerator these two things here is only for lamps uh, electric lamps so to the conclusion of this video first off would you need this launcher of course you are because this mod is gonna add a lot of gameplay to your game secondly it's gonna be about modders for you guys modders that imagine want to make a thousand of blocks, a thousand of items, but block launcher is very limited. Use this one. I'm clearly sure that this one will bring you modder into your full happiness because you can make almost anything, even custom dimension is possible. Although the weakness of this launcher is that its version is not updated and the documentation is not very great. So I'm gonna make some tutorials in order to help you guys. There are some example mods that you can learn from, which is created by the creator of this app, the Inner Core. His name will be on the screen because I cannot remember it. Links in the description and I'll see you guys next time.